along the same lines that you spoke to a minute ago, where you you really noticed a a, a benefit as far as like your excitatory responding to doorbells, getting anxiety, and 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 that and that element. I also not to that level, but I I've gone through phases where I deal with a very kind of like a general anxiety disorder, not like the panic attack or like the oh that type of sound, but just this yep. under this low level hum, this kind of like nonstop, just like right pestering anxiety that makes me very uncomfortable and it's very hard to relax or sit still or take a deep breath, that type of thing. And since I've really fixed my sleep and continue the workouts and tried to round out my vitamin supplementation, I feel more even keeled at 38 than I ever have in my entire life previous. So, and I think that's, Dude, that's awesome. probably part, probably part, partly due to some of the supplementation. Yeah, I mean, uh, the, the generalized anxiety thing. I definitely, I definitely am very, I'm familiar with that as well. And w one thing that's pretty funny, just just to speak on what you just said in, in terms of how much you've noticed a difference in that. I um, I have these like uh, like stress inhales sometimes where I feel like there's a there's a feeling that is attached to a panic attack, which is called impending doom. It's like a sense of impending doom. Um, and a lot of people are familiar with that feeling, but like I feel that feeling sometimes but there's no anxiety associated with it. It's just like an instant feeling. And I'm like, Oh, that's not good. And then and that, does that come out of nowhere? Or? It comes out of nowhere that used to make me extremely anxious. And I would start to, yeah, I'd have to walk around and like pace for hours or whatever. Um, and just would like ruin my days. Um, but now I still feel that sometimes, but it's just like, I can feel literally like I'm having about to have a panic attack and just yep. not, physiologically give a fuck if that makes sense like you've almost trained yourself to learn how to deal with it i don't even think it's training i think it's more so just balancing my body out uh now in, in terms of neurotransmitters and things like that like I, I think i've trained myself to feel that feeling i think that that feeling that i'm feeling is like a like a reaction to some kind of stimulus or something like that where i'm like maybe i'm not breathing all the way uh i'm not breathing deeply or or i'm you know something's wrong or, or whatever. And then I just feel that I'm like, okay, now it's time to panic. And then we just, you know, go panic for a few hours. We'll be all right. And then, uh, but now it's like, I can feel that same strong level of anxiety, but there's no physical symptoms. There's no physical aspect to it. It's just a feeling that's not associated with high blood pressure, pounding heart, um, like true, you know, I'm going to kill, I'm ready to like, defend myself. Right. Like that's okay. what it is at the end of so the day. It, it's like, it, it doesn't manifest as physically as it used to. Yes. That's Which amazing. Is cool. Now yeah, I think it's yeah, normal. I think that's, that's how normal that's people progress, feel. baby. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that's normal anxiety. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. I, I, Cause I, yeah. I, I wonder, I just wonder how, like, dude, one of the first things I did when I felt that way, like many, many years ago, I read yeah. online other people who had been dealing with it for like 10 years. And sure. I was like, this is terrible. This is normal for some people. This Can't is fucking insane. do this for insane. 10 years, dude. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's like, I'm not going to do this. I'm 19 years old. I'm not going to do this yeah. shit for 10 fucking years. I'll kill myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I did it for about eight. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Save the last two, baby. Yes, sir. Good and for still, you, man. You know, I, I have, I'm by no means like a different person, but at the same time, I'm absolutely like, you know, I'm, I'm definitely, person. I'm doing fine. Yeah. I love that. I mean, it, it's just such a testament to, you know, hearing you talk about some of this anxiety that you've had in the past and contrasting that with what I've seen you do over the last few years and the things that you've built, the companies, the YouTube channel, and not only that, but just the, your demeanor, the way you treat people. Uh, it's great. It's, it, it's inspiring, honestly, because I know a lot of people, even those that some that are listening, you know, who, who doesn't deal with anxiety at some capacity, yeah. many people, fortunately for them, not at the level that you have, but it, it just goes to show that there's always room to, you know, even, even in kind of like the dire straits, the depths of despair of some sort of element of your life that is really dragging you down. There's always uh room to, take the time to try and figure out how can I make incremental steps to get myself out of this hole, to find a way to get better. You sound very researched. You've obviously spent a lot of time looking in to the issues you've had, issues that you've had and figuring out ways you can anecdotally try and 
solve those through different mm -hmm. supplementations, through working out all these things. You've built businesses, the YouTube channel. So I just think that's, it's so cool because a lot of people, you know, when you have an audience online, so many people don't get to see that side of the people that they watch. You know, they see Oompaville, Caleb, who logs on. And I know, I know you've talked about these things before. Um, obviously, you do some longer form stuff, so there's opportunities to do that. But I'm sure there's a handful of your audience that has never seen anything from you outside of maybe the main YouTube channel. And yeah, it's just great to know that, you know, people that are crushing it in the eyes of many that follow you are still dealing with crippling personal oh, issues yeah. at all times. Yeah, I yeah, mean, I think that's absolutely. ubiquitous. Yeah, yeah. I, you're, I think you're, I think you're correct. Um, and yeah, I think, I think that having that, uh, having the whole like anxiety thing has really made me just respect people to another level. Sure. Um, and, and just like think it, I, I think that, I mean, I don't think I had a lot of empathy before that genuinely. Like I just didn't okay. understand why people like, why don't you work out? Like why, yeah. you know? And now I'm like, Oh, people can be crip. I, ca I can't even go to the grocery store on my own. Yeah. So like, that's something that 99.99% of everyone can do. Uh, and there's very clearly a lot of people who can't control their lives in a way where they're, you know, feeling good about themselves all the time or able to eat right or whatever, whatever it may be. So it's like, I think it's really just blasted me down to uh, be able to like, re I, I think it's a good thing. I think the whole anxiety thing is like a, in general, just a sort of a, a positive. Um, well, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? That yeah. Type of yeah. Beat. Or dare. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, stronger and gayer is what we could all hope for. <laughs> it's made me more emotional for sure. <laughs> that tight little bod I was talking about. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's definitely. Um, I'm very grateful for all of it. Seriously, like it really. It it, see, it feels dumb because like there's so many points where I've been just like, man, I would, I would, I would, if I could kill someone right now, uh, and eliminate this, I would. Like for sure. There's just nothing no, I don't want to do to get over. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that yeah, trade off like, was worth. I it. just, yeah, yeah. I just can't enjoy myself. I remember one time, dude. Uh, when it was really bad right off the bat, I went to my friend's house and I was just like dissociating, disassociating, dissociating yep. um, the whole time. We were all eating pizza and everyone was so normal. And I was like, these people are so normal. This is weird. <laughs> and I'm literally sitting here like a like a little thought inside my body. And I just feel like I can barely move. And I feel like I'm not here right now. And I'm like eating this pizza, just pretending and it's just, it's a symptom of anxiety. Like it's a, it's people it's like, like third person view type of shit. Depersonalization. Like I believe is what it's called. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Depersonalization. I have heard of that one. Yeah. yeah. And that, that's like, that's probably honestly the worst part of all of it because it doesn't feel like you're a real human. So it's really difficult to enjoy things. Uh, or, yeah. or, uh, yeah, it's really, it's really, it's really difficult to enjoy things. It's very easy to be harder on yourself. So like. I think that that's that's probably the the thing that all this has made me learn is just to be like empathetic and compassionate towards myself and and others, which I'm very grateful because I, I um yeah I did not have a lot of that when I was a child. For sure. well, I think I, I think that's a good lesson to learn, and I think sometimes life can humble you in that way where you might not be able to relate or or it makes you view life a different way when you go through something that viscerally challenging, and you're in a place where you're like, man, I you know. I don't know if I'm ever going to get out of this. And you eventually mm -hmm. get to a point where you part, part of that, that part of your life in a sense is in the rear view mirror. Of course you still deal with it every day, I'm sure. But to that extent, it, it probably humbles you to the point where now you're looking around and you're seeing people like, Hey, maybe they're going through something like this that I don't For know sure. that they're going through. Yeah. Um, and it's, yeah, it's like a whole bunch of stuff. It's a, it's a big, big, just a bunch of shit. You got to have faith in yourself. You got to know what to do. You got to have yep. the right knowledge. You got to have the right support group. You got to have the right approach. You got to understand like, what is the meaning of why I'm doing this? If you enjoyed this clip from my podcast, Decently Indecent, you can find full episodes on Storyfire linked in the description. And also be sure to subscribe here for more clips and episodes in the future. I appreciate you watching.